This is part 104 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between cube and rollup in SQL Server. Cube generates a result set that shows aggregates for all combinations of values in the selected columns, whereas rollup generates a result set that shows aggregates for a hierarchy of values in the selected columns. Let's understand this with an example. We'll use this sales table. Notice we have sale amount column. In addition, these three columns, city, country, and continent. There is a hierarchy relationship between these three columns. City is present within a country, and country is present within a continent. Now, if we use rollup on those three columns, and if the aggregation that we want to perform is sum on the sale amount column, then this rollup is going to produce sum of sale amount grouped by all the three columns, that is continent, country, and city, sum of sale amount grouped just by these two columns, that is continent and country, sum of sale amount grouped just by continent, and the grand total. So here we are getting that aggregation, that is sum of sale amount, based on the hierarchy relationship between those three columns. Whereas when we use cube on the same set of three columns, then this is going to produce sum of sale amount based on all the possible combinations of these three columns. So we are going to get sum of sale amount based on all the three columns, continent, country, city, continent, country, continent, city, just by continent, country, city, country, city, and the grand total. So cube is going to produce the aggregations based on all the possible combinations of those three columns, whereas rollup is going to produce the aggregations based on just the hierarchy relationship of those three columns. Let's look at this in action. Let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio. So within our result, we want continent, country, city, all the three dimensions, and then sum of sale amount. So we are using rollup and on those three columns. So when we execute this, Notice the first and second rows. We have the sum of sale amount grouped by all the three columns, all the three levels. And then row number three, we have the sum of sale amount grouped just by the continent and country level. And if you look at row number seven, notice that here in this case, the sale amount is grouped just by the continent level. So the groupings here are happening only based on the hierarchy relationship between those three columns. And if you look at row number 15, we have the grand total. So that's what rollup does. Now let's use cube instead of rollup. What is cube going to do? It's going to perform this aggregation, that is sum of sale amount, based on all the possible combinations of these three columns. So when we used rollup, look at the number of rows produced. It is 15. Now let's use cube and look at the number of rows produced. 43 because definitely when we combine all the possible combinations of these three columns we are definitely going to get you know more results than when we group you know the sum of sale amount just based on the hierarchy relationship so for example can we find the grouping done by continent and city absolutely so we want the grouping based on just the continent and city. That means country is going to be null, but not continent and city. So if you look at this row right here, notice that we have continent and city, but country is null, and we have the um, total sale amount. Now let's look at another example. Can I find where we can say we get sale amount grouped just by city. Absolutely, in this case, we should have only city, but the other two columns, that is continent and country, should be null. So if you look at row number nine, notice continent and country are null, but city is not. So in this case, we have the sale amount grouped just by city. So with cube, you get all the possible combinations of the columns, whereas with rollup, you only get you know, the aggregation performed based on the hierarchy relationship between those three columns that we pass to the rollup function. Now, you won't see any difference when you use rollup and cube on a single column. So if you look at the query right here, we are getting just two columns in the result set, the name of the continent and sum of sale amount. And if you, you look at the group by uh, clause here, to the rollup function, we are passing just the continent. And the same is the case with cube function.
So when we execute these two queries within the result set, you won't find any visible difference. Let's look at that quickly in action. So we want just the continent and then sum of sale amount, group by cube, and I'm using just continent. Let's make a copy of this and instead of cube I'm going to use roll up. So when we execute both of these two queries we are going to get identical results. So when you are using you know roll up and cube and when you're passing only one column to those functions within the result you won't see any visible difference. Thank you for listening and have a great day.